Hey guys, welcome back to Tale of Two Smitties. This week... Uh, hang on. This is part two of a two-part video series with Scott and Ashley of the Hive Drive Bus. So, if you haven't already, scroll on down below and click the link in the description to their YouTube video to see part one. Yeah, and part one's got a lot of us in it. They uh, <laughs> asked us some questions about bus life, and so if you want to hear a little bit more about that, we get a lot of questions about traveling. Um, go over and check that out, and then come back here and watch this, because we <laughs> want to introduce you to our friends, Scott and Ashley of the Hive Drive Bus. So, we're going to ask them some questions. They are mid-build. They're facing a lot of things that we faced. They're facing some things we didn't face, so we're going to yeah. ask them about it. Um, and it should be a good time. You may notice that we are in front of Heyday Brewing. Scott and Ashley actually hooked us up with this awesome parking spot and Heyday has been incredible to us. They have treated us very well. And if you've been here for a while, you know we can't turn down a great beer and this is definitely delivered. All right, so we are here with the famous Scott and <laughs> Ashley of the Hive Drive Five. Hello, Woo! <laughs> So hopefully you've already watched part one where we did a little bit of a newlywed style Q&A with them so and fun. now we are flipping the script and putting them literally in the hot seat. <laughs> so we're going to ask them some questions and give you a little bit of a perspective on current bus build life. Oh, yeah. yeah. Why don't you tell us when you got your bus and where you're at in your build? Let's okay. start it was nineteen sixty seven. It's been a long time. No, okay. I think we got it like what, October two thousand and nineteen. Yeah, so we found it on Facebook Marketplace. Um we got it for like three thousand dollars, which was amazing. Yep. Like bus inflation is nuts though right now. Um so it was a two thousand three Thomas safety liner. We got it the end of twenty nineteen. At that time, though, we were just weekend warriors. Like, yeah. we yeah. had maybe one day a week to work on it. So we just passed that two-year mark, and, <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're still working hard on it. It's still a lot to go. You guys saw. Uh, so hopefully in the next couple months, we'll... We'll actually be spine. hitting the road and yeah. can move in, so... <laughs> and they did tell us about a few things in their build that they encountered because they were going a little bit more slowly. They mm -hmm. thought of or somebody mentioned to them, yeah. Yeah. and they were able to incorporate it where we had a lot of times where Laura said, hey, what about this? And I said, shh, I'm in the middle of a project. <laughs> too late. We don't have time. Yeah, it's too late. We're running yeah. on the road. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, having just like one day a week at, at the beginning slowed us down so much. And now having like a couple of days a week to work on it, we're like, yeah. okay, we okay. can do this. There's an end in sight. Yeah. Let's gotcha. go. Try. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think one of the best parts about who you guys are is what you're doing this for. Mm. So we would love, because I think if anyone doesn't know you, yeah, that is a complete perfect picture of who you are as people. So we'd Aww. love you to yeah. tell us why you're doing this. Yeah, we're doing it for the fame and the money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That... Still got a ways to go. <laughs> and, uh, no, really, like, the hive, because everybody always asks, is like, why is it called the hive drive? Like, are you going to have uh, beehives, beehives on, on the your bus. roof? Or, yeah. yeah. And which, which, which not. Really, the, the image behind the hive drive is the kind of the picture we take away from bees, which is, like, they, they live in community, they work together, um, each person has a different job, and they pollinate uh, everywhere they go, and kind of of our heart is to pollinate kindness everywhere we go live in community meet Love new it. people and yeah we're all different we all have different skill mm -hmm. sets we even talked about on the last video mm -hmm. like everybody's different but that's that's the beautiful picture of community mm -hmm. is each person plays a different part and and it's all yeah. for the good of the hive it's all like to build each other up and like yeah. when yeah. you're winning we're winning yeah. it's like yeah, yeah cool that's Celebrate. what we're all about yeah. Love it. <laughs> And so if you if you haven't watched part one, shame on you. Uh, but we're gonna do this like a newlywed game. So we're gonna ask a question to one of them. The other one, has, or we're gonna ask a question to one of them about what the other one would say, and then we'll see if they get it yeah. right. So, all right. So first question: What quality in Ashley is Scott most concerned about dealing with in a tiny space? So what quality about me are you most concerned about living in a tiny space? And you gotta guess what I'm gonna put. Yeah. That's right. This feels like a trap. Uh, My yeah. trap door. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I've got it. I mean, this is just something in life that people who live with me and know me have to deal with. Okay. I, know, I think I know what you're gonna put. <laughs> Is but it that's not what I thought. No. Right. Actually, what's he okay. gonna say? My volume. The decibels. Oh, no, I decibels that I hit. <laughs> I, I, was gonna, I am uh, a loud laugher. I'm a loud talker, and I don't have like a low. 
<laughs> in a tiny space, maybe it's amplified when you're See, I knew, I knew that's what she was going to think I was going to put, but I, I actually put Ash's amount of quotes. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's, true. All right. that's very good because I struggle letting go of clothes. Like, and not that I'm like materialistic about it, but I really like fashion. <laughs> so it's like really hard. Okay. That's a good one. Yeah, I wrote decibels down one. here. And I didn't know how to spell decibels. So I scrapped <laughs> so <you're> it <scrapping. laughs> completely. <laughs> scrap it completely. I'd rather not have the right answer than be than spell it. Spelling it correctly. <laughs> it, okay, so this one's this one's light, but it could be hard. Okay. Which YouTube nomads inspire you the most? Oh my inspire gosh, that's hard. Most. So inspire me the most? Which yeah. YouTube nomads Shoot. inspire me the most? I got it. Uh, yeah. This doesn't have to be who you like the most. It doesn't have to be with whose rig you like the most. most. I'm going to do the at sign. Everyone knows how to find them. I'm so bad at spelling. I apologize, guys, <laughs> if I spell this wrong. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. I'm going to put Tio Aventura. Oh, okay. I love that. And the reason why I'm putting that is these guys were the first guys that we found doing bus life. Yeah. Cool. And that was the first bus that we ever saw. Um, and we, we've even told those guys multiple times, oh, yeah. like, you the guys, like, that yeah. kind of they, started this they whole They catalysted thing for us. us into schooly life 100%. They were the first cool. ones, and I totally agree with that. I have like a billion that different? I would put. I put oh, we're King, King and it. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but King and it um, definitely inspires us, like oh, in the sense goodness. of, yeah, just ruling your own world, going out there, just doing it, seizing the day, seizing every opportunity. Tio Aventura as well. Honestly, yeah. I feel like. Oh, there's so yeah, many so that I could it. say. But yeah, it's kinging it definitely um, inspires us to just get out there, go do it, and have fun while we're doing it. Yeah, 100%. We will link both of those channels below. We also subscribe to yeah. both of them. Highly recommend. And you guys actually have met both of them. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we had uh, Marie, Jose, and Chase. They passed through Raleigh last year. Yeah. And... Um, it was around the same time, actually. It was right before Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah. And we spent a week together and absolutely loved them. Like Scott said, they were, like, definitely the inspiration and catalyst for us to even, like, and What's really life. cool is we actually got to go and stay in their bus because it's now yeah. a rental That's in right. Texas. Right. Yeah. And, and so that. that was really cool, getting to actually stay in the bus that, like, kind of inspired, inspired it all, it all. For us. And then we met uh, Craig and Amy from King It when we were in Wales two years ago and yeah. got to spend some time with them and yeah so can't say enough cool. good things oh cool. i love it okay we definitely bring it put on. you on the spot for that one yeah no Ooh, you handled it well yeah something on the bus that you wish you did differently something that scott already yeah. wishes he did I differently it. i don't know what she's gonna put as well. well this is bus build life right here oh i know this yeah, yeah. we got That's this right. <laughs> Like, we talk about this. This is what keeps us up at night. Yeah. All right, let's see it. Different charge controller. Oh. Charge controller. Charge oh, controller. Yeah, yeah. Okay, tell them why, though. So, yeah, I just gave some clarity. I, I actually like our charge controller. The only issue is, is we have two charge controllers. <laughs> Um, basically we had, yeah, words. I just want one. Uh, we had 800 Watts originally on our, uh, solar setup mm -hmm. and, uh, we had a 60 amp charge controller. We added another 200 Watts. So then we added yeah. a smaller charge controller. So now we have two charge controllers, which it totally which works so far. It works great. I just wish that I took the two, replaced it for one, just to mm. make it tidier and neater. And yeah. I'm going to mix in a non-Newlywed question, Oh, because you guys did that with us. This is a thinker, though. Is this a right now one? No, oh, this, this is a, you can relax. Okay. Since you're both artistic mm. in different ways, if you were composing music mm. or creating an art piece mm. to represent your build, mm. how would it sound or what would it look like? Ah. <laughs> Okay, I got a great answer. Okay, let's hear it. My artistic build would be the bus itself. I was thinking that. Because okay. the bus build itself is my artistic that design is true. and portrayal. That feels yeah, like a cop out, but yeah, it's true. true. <laughs> that the bus is a sculpture. Easier than I and I'm making it come alive. But... Yeah. <laughs> no, it is true. I mean, it's, yeah. it has a lot of artsy flair and creativity in it. Yeah. Um, but no, I think uh, I think one of the things that we're also doing is like been so intentional with design. Yeah. And I think there's parts of us where it's like this stuff we've always done, and then there's other stuff that it's just like, man, let's 
this might be the only chance we get to do this. So let's mm. let's play around with this. Let's do this. Let's choose some colors. Yeah. Um, I mean, you guys did our bedroom like oh, ombre awesome. wall it's and different pinks and in there. And, <laughs> and so I think like we've been really intentional about every part of the design, mm-hmm. like aesthetically, mm-hmm. and uh, kind of trying to bring in different colors and statement pieces throughout the bus. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you'll see more of those coming in our shower cool. bowls. Love Very it. soon. Awesome. Yeah. Um, okay. Now yeah, so- we're going to compose a song. So what we're going to do the for... The wheels on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do feel like it would be 1950s swing music, Ooh. brass band, okay. really funky fun, like, rat pack picture Mickey Blue Eyes walking in, Dean Martin coming on, wow. and really just it being like a party, kind of like, because we love to host, we love having people over, even though we're not on the road yet, we've had the opportunity to host so many people in our driveway or at our local brewery, <laughs> and um, it's always just like a fun time, and I feel like swing music is totally that, like you're never sad with swing, so I feel like it would be great. swing vibes. What cool. a great like answer. That, yeah. <laughs> Not a cop-out I mean, answer. <laughs> Not a cop-out answer. Thank you very Both much. Both worked. Shark Ashley, yeah. what item will you be constantly picking up after Scott on the bus? Oh my gosh, how many can I list? <laughs> <laughs> like, I have no reaction. I got two that I'm going for. Scott is infamous for, like, this making one. sure I know he was everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Sprinkle Scott. Yeah. Essence everywhere. <laughs> To include, let's do some parentheses. <laughs> you need another piece of paper? Yeah. Three hours later. Um, Guys, Scott, what's she gonna say? I originally said clothes. Ooh, and I crossed it out. I was gonna put that one as my second one, and I just did this one. I okay. just said clothes, but I was gonna say cups and glasses. Okay. All the right, man same is page. infamous for the British stereotype of drinking tea. He drinks tea all day. I love it. It's great. And but I need, like, he a uses new cup a new glass every time, every time I, and I'm yeah, like, look, that's not going to cut it's it. Pretty bad. I mean, maybe you'll judge me for this, but I use the same water glass for like a week at a time and I'll like kind of just rinse it because I'm like, it's water. My thing is, is we have a dishwasher at home and so I'm like, I'll just put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> but you're not going to have that on the bus. <laughs> I know, but I'm not on the bus. <laughs> Shout you out to Hey Day Brewing for the new glasses. <laughs> yes, yes right. thank you, thank you. <laughs> Another glass for me to clean, thank you. And then, <laughs> I put clothes because I have this weird tendency, like, there's some clothes that's like, I don't want to put them back with my clean clothes, but they're not dirty clothes. There's, yep. there's and so it's kind of like the in-between that I just have yep. to leave somewhere. That's right. And, yeah. Most of my clothes are in that category. See, and I think that's good. Embrace that all of them should go there, but no. All right, I'm going off. I'm going off book here. Oh, oh boy. Dangerous. Oh, because probably. now this made me think of something else. Okay. Which... This question I'm asking specifically because Cody and I dealt with it. And it was hard. It's going to sound funny or silly, but it was hard. How many mugs are you bringing on the bus? Okay. We have literally, I think, 70 70 plus mugs. Okay. We So both of us used to work at Starbucks many moons ago. And we collected mugs from all over the world, like all of our travels. It was harder than downsizing my closet because the mugs were like super sentimental. But I There's feel tissues like, over there if you yeah. need one. Yeah, I'm going to need a minute. <laughs> so this is a little tricky, but we're going to try to be intentional with it. So hopefully. Okay. How many are you drawing zeros pictures? Are there? Yeah. <laughs> is that an eight? Did I see an eight? It's an eight. Wow. Is that four? Oh, four mugs. Ooh. We said so four. So we can do six. Okay. Okay. Here's my thing. I know, I know we're going to have like a go-to mug. Oh, yeah. But then I kind of want a different mug to spice it up every once yeah. in a while. But then I'm like, whenever we host size. people... I don't want us to only be able to That's host true. four people. That's true. Okay, so maybe eight then. Maybe eight. Because like if it's us, we need four right now. That's yep. right. We bought two new mugs though for yeah. the bus, and we're not allowed to use them until we <gasps> live in the bus. Well, but then you could have like your regular mugs. You could have no, the no, thermos no. mugs. You could have the travel mugs. <laughs> we're not mugs. doing that. No. <laughs> no. So Scott, mm-hmm. what are you most looking forward to about traveling full time? Okay, I kind of like was wordy with it, so sorry about that. So I feel like I know what you're going to think I'm going to put, but I changed it based off the travel part. Oh, that's fine. Okay. That gives us, like, more opportunity to gap. Okay. All right. All right. See. Seeing more Seeing places more people. and people, which is a given, right? But then also the intentional rest and hobbies. Mm. He literally always cool. talks about that, like being on the road, being inspired. Like, we're cool. super yeah. mm-hmm. inspo people. Like, we like to be inspired. So, like, cool. creating time for that. But what would you say? Meeting new people slash experiences. Cool, yeah. perfect. Feels pretty but bad, that, that the bottom was what I thought you was gonna put because like I feel like the travel aspect, like I think more about like even like the places, but just like meeting new people, but then meet. also like experience and stuff like 
that's only in that place. Mm-hmm. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Like, yep. Whether it be a restaurant or yeah. like whatever. Yeah. Like, if I can only get this here. Yeah, yeah like, we I had that happen little... pretty early on with food. We were like, you know, maybe I'm in the mood for this, but we're only here once. We should yeah, get so food I need to do here. This. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's been a really cool part of traveling. Yeah. Seafood trying... on the coast is kind of the easiest, like, generic thing. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. when you're on the coast, like, this is the time we should yeah. get some seafood. Yeah, with fish yeah. tacos and Ventura and we had, yeah. you know, stuff like that. Yeah, that was cool. Well, I like it. Yeah, it was great. So this was a little whose line is it anyways? The points don't matter. <laughs> yeah, but I won. <laughs> On our channel, we won. <laughs> so if you've never seen their YouTube channel before, check them out, The Hive Drive Bus. Know. They're also on Instagram. We'll link them both below. And uh, yeah, get to know Scott and Ashley a little bit better. If you do know them or you have met them or spend time with them, drop a comment below. Let us know what you like most about them. Oh, that's love cute. it. Well, thanks, you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Yep.